Welcome back to Let's Play Far Changing Tides. Oh boy, I wonder if this is the final boy. I'm legitimately surprised. I, I I thought it would be. Oh! It is! Looks like there's some stuff to find down here somewhere. Okay, not exactly sure where that went to. Oh, just one thing that time? No game, I don't want to yeet my welling cans, okay? <laughs> Will you pick it up? Thanks. And forward we go!
I don't understand. How and why was I stuck on that? Looks like there's more stuff coming up soon. Hmm. Seems like we are completely beyond civilization at this point. You can burn those as fuel. But why don't they just let you keep them? Like, when they run out then, why do they just poof? Oh, perhaps not beyond civilization then. What is this? That's something I need to hook, isn't it? Yeah, definitely is.
Okay, retracting it does absolutely nothing. Guess we'd better just try going back up, I guess, with it attached. Oh, wait! Oh, wait, I'm supposed to- oh, I'm supposed to sail it into that, aren't I? And then it'll lift us up, I assume. So, what now? I guess I can't swim past that. Maybe we have to... No, I can't raise the mast. <gasps> Wait a sec! It's connected around the engine, so hold on. Oh yeah, this is clearly gonna do something. Oh wait, it's a- oh, it's a hot air balloon! Okay, airship game win. If they make a third game in this series, I could see that being a thing. Like, you have to... Uh, fly like a aerial vehicle of some kind. So we're going above that waterfall now. What is up here? Oh. 
Well, apparently we're getting our airship game right now. <laughs> sort of, to an extent. See, this is exactly what I what, what what I was imagining a third game could be like. Just imagine that instead of a a ship, this was like some kind of a I want to say an airplane, but obviously it wouldn't quite be a plane. But something that you'd be flying like maybe maybe you'd be flying between like floating islands or something like that. Like, maybe they created machines that could lift land masses into the sky or something, and you could, like, in one part of this world, and you could, uh, travel between those. Wait, we're going pretty low. Are we supposed to be going this low? I guess so. <laughs> Well, our aquatic quest continues, I suppose. Right, right, hold on, there's an achievement for this. Hold on. I just remembered. There we go. You have to, yeah, you have to stand at the front of the ship while going full speed. <laughs> I just remembered I saw that. Okay. That might have been our last chance in the game to get that, too, because I feel like the ending has to be close at this point. But is this but but is this game gonna end on a really like quiet note or are, are we about to have another natural disaster to end the game? Actually, it looks like storms might be rolling in soon. Oh yeah, they're... Oh yeah, civilization has spread out to here, definitely. I swear, this this game has had several points where I 
legitimately thought the credits were just about to start rolling, but... Not yet. Oh, we need to put fuel into that, don't we? I kind of figured that might be why that was there. Well, let's go grab that thing again, then. Oh, back to the idea about the next game, though. Like, doesn't it just make sense, though? Like, the first game focuses on land exploration. The second game focuses focuses on sea exploration. So wouldn't it make sense for the third game to focus on air? Like, I wonder if they have plans for that. Alright, that's got the fuel full on that. Is this going to do what I think it's going to do? Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. So the stories of these two games have been taking place parallel. And basically, I guess both games start on, like, the opposite sides of the world. And in the end, the protagonists from both games end up meeting one another, I guess. I was not expecting that. So, all the water that used to be up here, it, it flowed down into, like, the lower part of the world, I guess?
Well, it's a little farther over there than I thought. <laughs> Ah, there's the old locomotive. And there's the first game's protagonist. That right there would be such a spoilerific thumbnail. But I'm not gonna do that. Well, that that was a game. I gotta say, I really enjoyed both of these far games. They, they they were really good experiences. I do hope there will be more games like this, or at least more more games from these developers, because these have been really good.
Well then. Uh, that seems to be the end. I don't think there's anything else happening. Huh. Alright, well, give me one moment. Alright, so after checking the achievements, there's actually not really much additional stuff I want to show off. There is one for burning the plant, for burning a certain amount of fuel, and for, you know, going a certain amount of distance and all that, you know, the stuff you'd expect. And there's also, uh, well, there is one for finding six of those salvage containers, you know, on the ocean floor, and I only found, like, five of them over the course of the game, I think, so... You know, there was that one really dark area that we, uh, didn't get anything from, and I did want to go back and, like, try to get the thing there. Actually, like, I checked a video really quick to see the locations of a couple of them, and yeah, there was indeed something down there. Uh, I guess I might as well, like, show those? I'm not even sure, like, how many there are in the game. Like, even the video wasn't entirely sure, like... It said there might be, like, two more, like, after the ice areas or something? I found one of them near the end, I know, but, eh. Maybe I'll just show enough until I, like, get the achievement or something. So, yeah, I guess I will, uh, tack that on to the end of this video. Alrighty. So, yeah, I guess I'll just show getting all of these, uh, salvage thingies. I mean, th this one is a- this is a mandatory one anyway, but yeah. And that's one. And that's two. And that is also a lot of salvage there. And now, of course, the other mandatory one.
Oh, here's something a little interesting. If you if you manage to get back up into the ship while the camera is angled like this, you could see an interesting angle of the inside of the ship. <laughs> this is the one. It's right below us. Oh, he ran out of fuel just at the right time, I guess. See, it's not nearly as dark this time. And the reason for that, I guess, is either because we're not far from our ship, or because it's, like, not storming yet in the game. I'm not entirely sure what it is that, like, uh, affects the, uh, lighting down here. I think it's probably getting too far from the ship. You remember we did this before. And we raised this up. Well, yeah, underneath that, as you probably saw there a bit ago, is the salvage container. <laughs> oh, that's a figurine there. That was not the right way to go. <laughs> Alright, let's finally retrieve this thing. such a scary one after all. Oh, by the way, here's big brain move. When the storms roll in, just go underwater. I'm pretty sure this is actually what they intended you to do in the first place. There's actually a lot of times where going underwater can be useful, like you can do that to like avoid the uh, buoys too, I think, but those aren't difficult to push out of the way though, plus you get that achievement for it, so yeah. <laughs> also, I think if you want to go for speed in this game, you probably do want to uh, stay on the surface as much as you can. You know, so that you can uh, use the sails for increased speed. <laughs> You might have noticed those salvage crates are often found near buoys. Anyway, I think this is the fifth one. Yep, 
Yeah, I guess so. You know, I realized something. Um... This city... is what we saw, like, a model of... earlier in the game. I mean, I, I had that thought, like, when it first surfaced, but I didn't think it really matched up with the model, but now that I look at the little round houses and things... Yeah, I think that is it. I really realized it when I, like, realized, like, the surrounding towers and stuff. Like, that was what, like, made it, that, like, that's what, you know, made it dawn on, like, you know, that's when it dawned on me that this thing is indeed that. Anyway... Apparently, the sixth salvage crate is shortly after we depart from the floating city. Did I see that one and just ignore it because I, like, didn't think I needed anything or something before? Let's, uh, keep an eye on the radar. Okay, are we coming up on it now? I think we might be. Yeah, there's the buoy. Okay. There it is. Oh, by the way, there actually is another achievement in the game. One that I did not know about, that I missed somehow. It's a secret achievement, but, um... It actually does involve that plant. You actually can grow the plant over the course of the game. Oh, wait. I am derping and not thinking. And there it is! We got Salvage Hunter Achievement. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'll show the other salvage crates. I mean, you know, like I said, the thing I was looking at, it wasn't even entirely sure, you know, like if there was one or two more. So that one that I found before may have been the final one, but it's like, if I don't see any others, then that'll probably be it. Well, I got the Beauty and Disaster Achievement. For, um, fully growing the plant here. It really spruces up the uh, interior of the ship for certain. Basically, to get this, you just gotta leave, you know, leave the sunlight open, like, obviously, and just water it diligently. As you can see, I'm, I'm at the cranes and the thing is fully grown, so yeah. <laughs> Well, the only achievement I have left to get is the, uh, the, uh, speedrun one. And speaking of that, I should probably stop just staying around doing nothing. <laughs> 
Oh, by the way, there was actually one more achievement. Wait, oh, whoops, wrong way. There, there was one more achievement um, that I don't think I mentioned. Well, I don't know. There may have been, like, a couple. Did I mention the Submariner one where you travel uh, 10,000 meters underwater? Because I got that one. But, um... There was one, I don't remember if I mentioned it, but those caves, them underwater caves near the waterfall near the end of the game, well, you can, uh, there's one for going through those without bumping into anything at all, and I got that too, so, yeah. Anyway, see you at the end. Yes! We got the speedrun achievement! And that second achievement was forgetting all other achievements in the game. Anyway, this officially concludes Let's Play Far Changing Tides. Hopefully they'll make, they'll make a third Far game one of these days, and if they do, I'll definitely be LPing that one as well. So yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.